All right, in this video, we're gonna be looking at shooting with the flambient method. So I'm gonna take you step by step and show you how to edit each one of these images so we can take them into Photoshop from Lightroom and how using lighten mode will make your workflow so much easier and the results probably better. Let's go. All right, so here's that ambient layer in that room I was talking about. See how the, we have a big window. I'm gonna show you if I can, here is, the other side of it so I'm standing right here in front of this uh, sliding glass door shooting this way I just want to give you a perspective an idea of what the behind me looks like so we have a big big sliding glass door that's throwing in a lot of light but it's not reaching this area over here which is the kitchen and then this little uh, full bath actually uh, off to the left side here so we're gonna do my interior uh, first bump here bring that exposure up so that's all we get for ambient, so we're definitely gonna have to do some flash pops here. Let's move on to the next image. Let's do our interior first bump on that. Let's bring that exposure down. So what this shot is, I just did a flash pop above the camera. That's it. So you're always gonna wanna do a flash pop above the camera, and then we're gonna use that to blend all the other flash pops wherever else we need light. And so I get this question a lot. Well, what was your flash power? How, how do you know how much flash power to put into the room? It's going to literally vary on every single situation, but you're going to get good at guessing. So what I recommend, starting out with a quarter power. Do a flash pop. If it's too bright, drop it down to eighth power. You're just going to have to play around with that. But the more you do it, the more you practice, you're going to be able to figure out just by knowing what um, what your shutter speed is, how the size of the room, and you're going to get to know your flash and what the power is. So I'm almost always guessing on one or two tries. I get it every single time, and you will too, I promise. All right, so this is the uh, flash shot above the camera. Like I said, let's move on. Now, this is where we're gonna do our composites left and right for this side of the room. So let's do our uh, interior first bump on this one, bring this down. And so what I like to do is if I ever have to tweak um, one of my presets over here, I'm just gonna go over here, copy, and then copy. And that way when I move to the next one, I just have to click paste down here. And that looks good to me. Let's go to the next start image here. Okay, that's the bathroom shot. We already did our preset bump on that, so I'm not gonna touch it. And now let's come over to, let's see, what are these other ones? This is where the flash didn't go off for whatever reason. That was too bright. That's what I want. And I already did my uh, exposure bump on this one. And you know what I'm going to do? So notice that it's a hot spot on the ceiling there. And we have, we can't use ambient to blend it in. So we have to go to the other side of the room and shoot that. But watch this. I'm going to bring this up a little bit brighter just so we can blend that in better. And now let's hold down these images. This is our bathroom, this is our two composites and our ambient layer. Edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. All right, now that we have all the layers loaded into Photoshop, our ambient layer is gonna be on top. Let's just toggle that off right now. And now what we need to do is to get our right and left composites, we need to blend those together to make it one image and then we're gonna just do uh, Photoshop magic here in a second. So watch this. All right, so these two, we need to merge these together. So we're gonna keep the top one uh, selected, come down here to this mask, and then command I to invert. I'm gonna come over here, make sure white is on top that's selected. Use your gradient tool and start anywhere in the front of your hotspot and just pull that flash over. So now that we've just completely blended ourselves out of there and I think that looks amazing. So what we can do now is we can hold down command and select both of these, right click, and then merge layers. That'll merge those two together as one. Now, we can turn back on our foreground. So I'm gonna do this step by step with you and show you how we can uh, make this work. So if we turn this to lighten mode, let's do that. And all that did is just uh, leave the brightest parts of the image. So a lot of times you don't need all of it and I'm just gonna bring that to 50% so that's just basically turning on the foreground light the flash above the camera so let's bring this one to the top now which is this one okay that's our bathroom shot let's turn that to lighten mode look at that so really that's what that's doing is just turning on the light in the bathroom it's that simple come down here wait let's I can never get straight okay it is this one right here 
Yeah, so the, what we have left is the right and left for that little tiny kitchen. So you bring it up just underneath the ambient layer because we're going to turn the ambient layer on last. And so, honestly, we could do this. We could do, let's try light and mode with this one. And what does that do when we toggle it on and off? That's good. Let's bring this one up. And again, we could turn this into light and mode. But we got that, the two, those two are blended together. What if we took and dropped this one, to, or actually left this one? We can actually bring this to 50%. There we go. We can get rid of that, see? At 100, we can kind of bring that down a little bit. So, I think that looks really good to me. We do have a little bit of a line right here with that, but you know what? It's not really that noticeable. I think I'm going to leave it, honestly. Uh, let's turn this on now. This is our ambient layer. We can just take and drop that ambient layer. Let's see what that does. That's a 50% ambient blend. I do like that. Uh, this Again, this is just trial and error. A lot of this stuff. So let's create a layer mask. I'm not going to invert it because I just want to be able to paint back in. Maybe some flash back in here. If we needed that a little brighter. Maybe more flash within the bathroom. To lighten that up and that's really it guys I mean that's how simple it is you just keep moving it to the top just keep it underneath that ambient layer and turn it to lighten mode it's pretty sweet okay let's flatten this image and command s to save it going right back into Lightroom and we'll just do our interior final bump and maybe bring that exposure down a little bit and toggle that off but oh you know what else we have to do is just make sure our verticals are set and there you go all right so make sure to leave me a comment hit that thumbs up if you have any questions about any of the stuff that I went over I answer every single comment hit that subscribe button because I have tutorials coming out all the time to help you grow your real estate photography business thanks for watching guys we'll see you in the next video bye bye